Hello guys, I'm back for the part two of trying the Japanese snack that we bought in Japan, of course. So we are gonna eat today this famous ramen is Nishi Udon ramen. So we're gonna cook this one later with this one, which is Ichiran ramen, one of the most famous one, also in Japan. I'm gonna show this one more closely. We are gonna also try this. Uh, it was like, I think we talked about this one before. Chocolate mochi with like matcha inside or like outside with this cover together because I cannot forget about this one. And of course we had to try like the Kit Kats we showed last time. This one is sweet potato one and that one is ice cream. First we are gonna cook these two and we'll see. So it's ready, it's time to eat. We're gonna check how it looks with hot. Ta -da! ASMR time. Mix, 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 mix. It looks like Odin. Oh, like fish cake in, uh, in Korea. It's gonna be hot. This one we didn't try in Japan. No. Oh, it's hot. Hot? Yeah, it's good. Mm. It tastes like Udon. It tastes like udon, but of course, like uh, like uh, in, in instant noodle. Right. The noodle, noodle is quite soft. It's good. Oh. I will try this now. I think it's like udon. I mean, like fish cake. But doesn't taste fishy. Yeah, and it's kind of um, it's a bit elastic. I don't know what to, to, how to say. Want to try? Yeah. It's good, but you can taste it's like instant noodles. Yeah, it's quite good. Mm. It's hot, how can you eat that fast? We actually check online and it's fried tofu. <laughs> now it's more, more looking like a little sponge when you look at it. But yeah, that's why there is no fishy taste because it's not fish case, it's just, uh, just tofu. Yeah, I have to say, the noodles are quite good when it's not burning you too much. <laughs> and I, I actually think it's not bad for instant noodles. The more I eat, the more I like it. Yeah. My boyfriend is gonna finish this one and we're gonna try the Ichiran ramen now. It's hot. Super hot. Look at all the smoke. Okay, let's try Ichiran ramen. This one was quite good, but you can taste that it's more greasy soup. Yeah, it's quite good. It's not exactly the same as the one we had in the original restaurant in Japan, in Osaka. It's quite good. A little bit more salty, maybe. Maybe we put too much water. But if we put too much water, then it will be less salty. Yeah, my lips are quite oily. It's quite flavorful. Because you can taste the spices. About the texture, I think I like the udon more. But about the flavor, I like this one more. And for the leftover, my boyfriend gonna finish it once again. And now, of course, we have to try the soup. Oh. It's flavorful but very spicy. Salty. Ah, salty. Salty. And now that the ramen is done, we are gonna eat the snack. I'm thinking of this one first because I think I am not a fan of matcha. So if I have the matcha taste in my mouth, maybe I can make it better with something else. I'm not saying matcha is bad. Many people like it. But maybe I didn't try like real good one matcha. So we try this one. If I can open it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like dango. So it's like matcha filled with chocolate inside, in my memory. It's cute. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, it's not chocolate. <laughs> it was not chocolate. It it's red bean, actually. <laughs> we are totally wrong about this snack. We forget. We took so many, so we forgot what we took, I guess. It's not bad. I don't think I can taste the matcha that much. It's not too strong. Do I like matcha now? Maybe before I didn't try good matcha. But I kind of like it. Really? Yeah. It's good. I'm a little bit worried about this one. Oh. Maybe because you cannot taste the matcha, matcha that much. Stuff with matcha uh, I tried before, I remember it was too strong for me. Maybe it was too much artificial taste? Maybe. 
I didn't expect that good. Yeah, I feel like this one I'm gonna eat everything. Yeah, but not today, of course. And now we're gonna try Kit Kat ice cream or sweet potato. Maybe sweet potato first. Oh, it's cute. Many different packaging. Yeah, I think they make they made it like that for Halloween. You can see. It's cute. Once again, it's white chocolate like the previous one that we had. Wait. Just not. Yeah. But they are all white chocolate mostly? I yeah, think, yeah. Look like this. Just like the chestnut and Mmm, mmm. Oh, this one you can taste the um, sweet gogoma much better. Sweet, sweet potato. Oh, sweet gogoma. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mix. Because gogoma is like sweet potato in Korean. Yeah, this one is much more flavorful than the chestnut one. You can really taste like the. Sweet potato. I was about to say sweet cucumber once again. This one definitely good. Mm. And I love stuff with sweet potato. Yeah, right away you can taste right. it. Yeah, good score for this one. And last one, ice cream ones. This kind of package. Yeah, we only took the one with white chocolate actually. I think it's white chocolate also for Marcia. Anyway. Let's see. Mm. You can taste the ice cream. It's strange, it's like a mix of vanilla and strawberry. Even though I don't think it's supposed to taste like strawberry. It smells like it a bit as well. It's quite good, but I still prefer the guguma. The guguma was really good to me. <laughs> Not just like that. It really tastes like cheese. Cheese? No way. I'm trying again to be sure, but how can you taste cheese in this? No. Mm. My style. Not your style. So yeah, that's finally it about all the Japanese snacks that we bought. Yeah, I'm thinking, but yes, that's it. <laughs> it was actually quite a lot. So yeah, hope you like the video. Um, maybe see you next time for another kind of snack in another country. Hello. See you. Bye bye.